Well, good morning, my dearest brethren, my brothers, my sisters in Christ. How are you this morning? It's a beautiful morning here in Australia. We have a glorious sunrise. We have a soft, cool breeze. We have one of the most beautiful days I could imagine. And I hope you are having a peaceful day. I want to read you, this was opened to me this morning and I thought this is a, a message for today. No matter what you're going through and I know the time is close and we are getting impatient. But let me read you this. Psalm 37, it's headed in mine as Trust in the Lord. A Psalm of David Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who protesteth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be for ever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke they shall consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous show mercy and giveth. For such as be pleased of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his ways. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young and now am old. Yet I have not seen the righteousness forsaken, nor his seed begged, begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell for evermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved for ever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein for ever. 
The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall hide, shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. Thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of righteousness is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Isn't that one of the most beautiful things you could read? So much beauty is in the Psalms. Trust in him. Wait for him. It is his time and he will deliver you. He will save you and you will have a reward. The wages of sin is death and we know death is in hell and Hades. But we have rewards. Brothers and sisters, we have rewards. He tells us there are some that are going to inherit the land. Some are going to inherit heaven. Remember the Beatitudes? Some will, there will be those that are in, is it the, the meek shall inherit the earth and that's echoed here in this. And the pure of heart shall see God. There are many different rewards for, for us. And just as you've heard people say there are different levels of hell. There are also different places in heaven when Jesus goes to prepare a place for us. It's a specific place for us. And he was gracious and showed me in a dream that there are different places. My understanding of it at, at first was quite un, an understanding. I didn't quite understand, but I've since understood. He laughed at me. Um, I think he finds great amusement in me jumping to my conclusions. But he showed me the other night, he took me on a, a journey. And the first place that he showed me, it was exactly as I always imagined heaven. With the green and the flowers and the absolute abundance of life. It was it was my idea of heaven. And there was a whole group of people in my dream. We were all gathered together at one point. And I know rewards were being given out. And at this one point there was this, everyone, it's, do you remember the, the proverb, not the proverb, but the, um, yes, he spoke in proverb, um, where he told us about the workers and they were all gathered together and they, the first were the last and the, they all saw the first group, everyone saw the first group getting their wages and they went off and then the next group were given their wages but the first was still there and they were given their wages and then the next group given theirs, etc. And I'm not talking about this being wages, but what I'm talking about is in that same way that they were together and then a group peeled off and a group peeled off and a group peeled off. This is what was happening here. Everyone was together. 
And the first group went into this, what I call my heaven. Not that I'm going to get that heaven, but that's the one in me. I see flowers and I live in a country of quite dryness and it's called a stark beauty. I, I find it hard to see beauty, to be honest. Um, but many people see this as a beautiful land. I see it as miles and miles of nothingness. <laughs> Green to me here is not what I've... In my dreams, my dreams, I see green as being something incredibly lush. And in Australia, green is a brownish colour, really. And you can put your sunglasses on and it looks better, but without sunglasses, it's it's not what I call green. Um, but this first part in heaven, it was exactly what I wanted. But I was still staying with the group going, so for me it was like, oh, I want to go there. But moved to the next location. Everything was beautiful in heaven. But this next place was less green, more open fields, still beautiful, rolling hills and and just less bulk of green and bulk of plant. It was more open and the plants were smaller and more, I guess like just rolling fields. It was beautiful. And a whole heap of people were so happy and they were going in there. Then we moved along a bit to another. It seemed to be like an opening we went through. We stayed on this side and it was like a a misty cloud. that A big circle opening happened and you could see into it. And so each group went into this scene. And each time we went down and the next scene was a... Rather than a green area, it was all in beautiful ochre colours and, and um, yellows. And it was absolutely beautiful, but there was less green. And then this group of people went in there and then we got to another one. I knew there was many, many more, but we got to this, what I'm calling the last one. It's the last one I saw. And it was, I guess, it was like a, probably a, a tropical island or something. It was um, large amounts of sand, beautiful rolling hills of sand. And, and I think there was an ocean there. And it was, I don't know, but it was sandy and sandy. It was beautiful and people were going in there very happily. I imagine they were surfers, <laughs> I don't know, or, or people that loved the sand. I don't like the sand and, and there I thought I was being left there and I said, oh, please don't leave me. <laughs> and I, I was a sook, I don't want to stay here and and. God was beside me, Jesus was there, and he smiled at me, that knowing smile as if, oh, Robin, what are you, you've got it wrong again, and he just laughed at me, and then I woke up, but then he took me to different spots all over the Bible, I can't show them to you because it was just coming and coming, but remember, I think the, the easiest one is the Beatitudes. Remember how everyone gets a different place, a different um, gift. Some are inheriting heaven, some are inheriting the earth. Some, All the inheritances are different. There are different places. And we all have different desires. We all have different beliefs in what is beautiful to us. And it, it's, see, for me, it would be absolute, it would not be heaven for me 
to be in a place of sand and no green. I really, really want the green. And for somebody else, that dense green and garden-like life would be horrible. They would want that wonderful outdoor expanse of sun, surf and sand. And mind you, there is no, un there is no sunburn, there's no uncomfortableness. There is nothing bad in heaven. So it's the perfect of every situation. And here we are. He tells us we all get our, our inheritance, but we also get our heart's desire. So those of you that are desiring, saying, oh, I really don't want to go to heaven if it's going to be like that. It's not like that. It's different. There are so many different places in heaven, and he goes to prepare a place for you. Right? And he gives you your heart's desire. It's all up there. So you surfy dudes, you've got your surfs. You people that love the rolling fields and love to go wandering in the rolling fields, it's for you. You people who love that lovely closed in trees everywhere, grass up to your ankles, flowers everywhere, it's, it's for you. People who live in deserts, who absolutely love the desert but don't want to be dry, it's for you. The perfection of every landscape is there. Your heart's desire is in heaven. It's beautiful. For you, your your heart's desire is there and he has made a place for you and for me. I saw my place and I saw your place. But there's many, many more. Those of you that I haven't spoken of what your desire is, I knew there were many, many more places. So... Think of what you want and it is there without any of the bad stuff. So you're going to go and have a picnic on the on the grass or on the beach. There's going to be no insects that are going to come and nip you. They might come and have a chat to you. I don't know. If they're there, they're going to not harm you. They're not going to disturb you. Maybe they'll sing to you. I don't know. But it's going to be perfection. There is nothing that you do not want there. So that's that's what I wanted to tell you about. Um, but I'll read your Psalms. He, he says, be patient, wait on him, because it's all going to happen. And he will deliver you. And he said it's coming, he's coming. And he's coming. Hold on. Put your trust in the Lord. And get ready. A day, a week, a month. Don't tie yourself down to times. Be excited. Look every day. Every day, he said, be ready. In season and out of season. Be ready. So let's us just look for him because he is coming and he comes with his reward and his rewards are great. So God bless you. Keep enthusiastic. Yes, we're going to see the wicked do wickedly. But remember, he has told us they will. But he's told us what he will do to them and he said keep your patience delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart and he will this life is but of a vapor it it is here and then it's gone but the soul 
we go to the Lord is forever. And our desires of our heart are given to us forevermore. Don't worry about this time. And it's very, very short. You see it all around you, my loves. You know in your heart there's not much time left. The wicked will do wickedly. But you do well. Keep your faith. Hold on to what you have. Strengthen it. Call on the Lord and he will give you the strength you need. Call on to him and he will give you the faith you need. Hold on to him because he has already given you the grace you need. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. And remember, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. You're one of his children and he loves you. God bless you. Bye for now.